Hi there, welcome to a diagram short looking at a fall in fixed costs of production. So fixed costs are costs that don't vary directly with output, they're independent of the level of production. And uh, good examples include things like consulting fees, annual rental costs on buildings, and bulky marketing budgets and research projects. Here's the first diagram, it shows a profit maximizing position for a firm with a downward sloping demand curve. Profit maximizing output is at Q1, where MC meets MR. That allows the firm to charge price P1 with a unit cost of C1. So the yellow area shows the supernormal profit before any fall in fixed costs. Now let's assume that there's a fall in the fixed cost of production. So this could be, for example, a fall in insurance costs or a fall in the cost of renting buildings on an annual leasing basis. So fixed costs fall from AC1 down to AC2. Notice now there's no change in marginal cost. A change in fixed costs does not affect marginal cost. So all we see is a fall in AC1 down to AC2. That means the profit maximizing output remains exactly the same as does the price. Except now output Q1, the unit cost is C2. And as a result, the profit after the fall in fixed costs increases to the new shaded area, the difference, difference between price and cost. So if there's a fall in fixed cost, there's no change in the profit maximizing price, there's no change in the profit maximizing output, but total profits do increase. This was a diagram short on a fall in fixed costs.